Hi, I'm Hope Bill Payne, and this is my ACT story. Hi, I'm Eric Scott at Viker High School, coach and history teacher, and this is my ACT story. In high school, I was a student athlete, and I was uh, about to receive a college scholarship, and I took the ACT uh, on the first attempt and made the score that was required, and I was also asked by my home economics teacher, Ms. Mahan, to take it again, and I refused, and I kind of regretted that, not taking it again and receiving a higher score. Uh, but I, I did enjoy uh, the experience. Now tell me, what are the effects of the ACT score on an athlete? On an athlete, the ACT score is very important. Um, right now, the NCAA has a sliding scale based on your GPA and your ACT score, whether you qualify for, um, for college athletics. Uh, so therefore, the ACT is a very important part of a uh, student athlete's uh, ability to actually play college athletics. Now, am I right in, in understanding that it has to be a balance between their GPA and also their ACT score? Correct. Um, the higher the, the GPA, um, some colleges will allow a lower GPA score. Mm -hmm. um, the lower the GPA score, the higher your ACT score will have to be. Okay. Well, Coach, thank you so much for sharing. No, thank, no problem. Thank you for having me. Hello, I'm Ebony McDowell, ninth and 10th grade counselor here at Vida High School. This is my ACT story. It's funny that you ask about my ACT story because it's very short. <laughs> I showed up at Bishop State and took the test. Um, my big focus in high school was making sure that we passed the Alabama High School graduation exam. So um, one day I was called to the counselor's office and she asked, were we going to college? And we said yes. She gave us this form and told us to take it home because we had to pay for the ACT at that time. And I took it home and we proceeded to take the test. Um, now I think things are a lot different as an educator. I think the students have more resources and the opportunities to um, do well on the ACT to make sure that they benchmark in the math, the science, the English and the reading portion. But my ACT story was basically me just taking the test. I hope now that the students that are taking the ACT now are not currently doing those kinds of things that they're preparing in school and outside of school for those um, assessments. It's really good to get a counselor's perspective. Ms. Okay. McDowell, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Henry. This is my ACT story. My ACT story be begins with wanting to get out of my city. My city was an industrial city mm -hmm. and I knew that I had to get a education or a degree in order to improve my chances at succeeding. So Colonel, as a person who is retired from the military, how does the ASVAB and the ACT relate? What is their relation? A lot of people don't realize that the ASVAB is a good pre indicator of how well you'll do mm -hmm. on the ACT. Mm -hmm. That is uh, just to different areas and within a couple of points. If you take the ASVAB, they can predict how well you'll do on the ACT. So from what you're saying and my understanding is the ASVAB is not just a military test. It's a really great predictor of the ACT. Yes, exactly. And also it just shows you what your skills are in a lot of different areas other than ELA and math, but also what other skills that you may possess. So I did read that you come from a really big family and you're the seventh of eight kids? Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what motivated you to want to do well on the ACT um, and go off to college and... Again, uh, my sister uh, paid my way to go to a college prep school. Mm -hmm. So that allowed me to be competitive or talk about, a lot of my classmates were talking about major universities right. Notre Dame, Alabama, Auburn, Georgia. So I knew that I had to get a decent score on the ACT mm -hmm. so that I would have a choice of what school that I would attend. So that's why I took it serious. I knew that I, I took it and I was able to get a score that allowed me to go to UAB. Colonel, it's always great to have a wonderful story. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for having me.
My name is Derek Scott, head football coach at Viger High School, and this is my ACT story. Well, uh, my ACT story goes, I was playing football that Friday night. We played a football game. I had to get home, get in bed, get up the next <laughs> morning, and go take the ACT. And I went in and I made a 21 on the ACT. Coach, that's, uh, I guess, an interesting story. Uh, I would like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me this, though. Yeah. Uh, how do you motivate your athletes? to do well on the ACT? Um, number one, how we motivate them. Uh, we show them what, it, what the benefits of a high ACT score does when the recruiting process. Mm -hmm. The higher your ACT score, the more you can, the more opportunities you have available for scholarship as well as uh, it's a three-part deal when it comes to recruiting with ACT as well as um, core GPA. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more than just ACT for us, but it has a, it's a, plays a huge part in the recruiting process. Tell us what are the options that are available now for our students that were not available when you took the ACT? Oh, wow. Uh, nowadays we have one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring sessions with um, tutoring uh, ACT prep um, tutors, as well as the ability to do ACT tutoring on your smartphone, uh, computer, laptop, at home with internet and Wi-Fi. So it's, it's just tremendous the amount of resources that are available for young men and, and ladies to do ACT prep, whereas when we were taking it back in the 90s, uh, it was really non-existent. Uh, we, it was kind of new to all of us, and uh, everybody just kind of understood that you had to take it. Right. We didn't really know what it was for and why, but you just, it, it was a formality. And uh, with, our, with what we know now, I, can, I really feel like we all would have made higher on ACT yeah. if we had known what we know now. Okay, Coach, so I know that by you coming in and your presence, our kids are going to do well. Thanks so much for coming in and sharing. Thank you much.